Hello everyone, this is Jake Sue, and here I have my maze generator. Now what this does is it generates a random maze in this grid of cells. So I can give a demonstration. You flip this lever to generate the maze and you can actually see it being generated. It'll create some lag but it looks pretty cool. Alright, so now we're done. Um, this usually takes about one minute to generate, uh, minus all the visual bugs and waiting for the pistons to visually update. But one minute is actually pretty fast considering there are 100 cells here. So that's like less than a second per cell. So once we're done, we turn off the clock to avoid lag, and we can actually go into this maze and try to find our way out. So, the mazes generated aren't really hard. Um, there's going to be a bunch of really short dead ends, but that's just part of the maze generation. So, for the logic of this, this has some pretty interesting logic. It uses a randomized version of Prim's algorithm. Uh, Prim or Prime, I don't really know how to pronounce it. But it's not truly randomized. So here you can see I have a little bit of a color coding scheme going on. Um, the iron blocks, these are the white blocks, these are just normal logic. Um, the gold blocks represent if a cell is part of the maze or not. And the emerald blocks, those are the green ones, are memory cells for each of these walls. And on the bottom here, I have a four-way randomizer which determines which way a cell might branch. Now this randomizer is loosely based off of Nuo Master's implementation of a mesh maze generator, but the other wiring is pretty different. So as for the clocking, I said that this was not actually random because in randomized Prim's algorithm, each cell to branch to, if a cell branches, and which cell branches to is chosen randomly, but that would take too much time, and that also introduce some more complex logic. So what I've done here is I've clocked each cell in a way so that no cell can request trying to branch to the same cell. No two cells can request trying to branch to the same cell. Uh, I may do a more in-depth video explaining it, but starting from the bottom, the 
clock signal goes through here and it randomly chooses a direction to go into and if it is possible to go in that direction it will branch that direction and so the whole maze generation is basically just that um, it turns out to be surprisingly compact and this is really not that big another difference from Minecraft and a regular computer program is that I built this in a way so that each cell is the same. Now in a real life program the whole program knows knowledge, has knowledge of every single cell. But here I've built it so that each cell only knows what the state is of its neighboring cells to try to reduce the logic. So here is A model of the randomizer and branching mechanism. And after that, after a cell is chosen to branch, then choose which walls based on new cells and old cells to turn on and these lower these walls so that the maze is generated. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day.